I don't know if you can see this very well, but a few years back, somebody broke into my Jeep. I hammered that in a little bit, but they pulled that out. They did it on both sides. I don't know if you can see this the glare and everything, but they really messed that up. So, I got myself a bit of a... Uh, Huck lock pick set has a bunch of different uh, like jiggler keys mostly for automotive and what I did is I went through and looked at the key to my vehicle and tried to find ones that matched up and then tried to do that I don't know what they did they also tried to attack this toughy lock here uh, and were unsuccessful they even put a, uh, a wrench or so screwdriver or something up here and tried to pry this open but I installed this myself this is not a factory uh, glove box and I got it because the lock said it was you know more resistant to picking so um, my only thing on this is that if you're if you're gonna attempt to uh, duplicate what somebody did or you know try to open your own uh, car doors and stuff uh, don't use the driver's side and don't mess around with your ignition because you uh, can mess this stuff up. These are uh, wafer locks and they can be damaged. Uh, when they open this one up, when they busted it open now, um, I can lock this door from the inside. But to uh, unlock it, I have to roll the window down and stick a key in. Now I can take this door panel off and try to repair it, but... Um, so when I want to lock the Jeep up, I have to lock this and then hope the door doesn't close on its own. Because if it latches, I have to stick the key out there. So, when, when I, uh, when I attempt to open this door up, I'm going to do the passenger side. Which is always recommended because it's used less. And if you mess that up, you can still get in through the driver's side instead of having to... If you mess up your driver's side... Uh, lock you're gonna have to go in through the passenger side all the time or get the lock replaced either one um, So that set set I've tried there's also some other automotive type jiggler keys that you can try um, This is like a seven piece set that I bought and then sparrows makes a set of uh, jiggler keys also so there you go, you know, it's it's, uh, I just wanted to say basically, you know, if you're going to do this stuff, just make sure you go through the passenger side and uh, don't try your ignition unless you absolutely have to, you know, like you're stranded somewhere and somehow you're a bear ate your keys and you couldn't kill the bear and gut him and get your keys. That's about the only thing I can think of is why you would need to mess around with your own ignition. Other than to show off, and like I said, one of these days, you're going to get in trouble showing off because you're going to wind up having to replace your ignition and not being able to get your key to work anymore. So there you go. It's a little short video on the dangers of, uh, and they always say, you know, like, don't leave anything in your vehicle. Well, I still leave crap lying around, but it's mostly just, you know, jackets and survival food and stuff like that sugar for they got free coffee at work and they don't have sugar so i brought my own there you go hope everybody's having a good day and um uh, that's all my lock picking for right now it's not really even picking